Keeping fish cool during hot summertime temperatures requires engineering expertise and dedication. The type of expertise and dedication that the men and women of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Walla Walla District display every day. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, 2015, 2016, and 2017 were the hottest years on record. And warm water temperatures above 68 degrees aren't good for salmon and steelhead in the Columbia and Snake River system. So when summer temperatures spiked, the Walla Walla District's scientists, biologists, and engineers responded by developing fish cooling systems at Lower Granite Dam and Little Goose Dam on the Snake River. The four Lower Snake River dams are multiple use facilities that provide navigation, hydropower, recreation, and fish and wildlife conservation benefits. When the dams were constructed, the Corps built adult fish ladders to allow adult salmon and steelhead to swim through the dams as they return to their natural spawning areas. The Corps' engineers developed a system that cools the Snake River by augmenting it with flows from Dorshek Dam and by incorporating cooling upgrades within the Lower Granite and Little Goose Dam's fish ladders. The following image depicts the south shore of the Lower Granite Dam during construction. As you can see, the fish ladder exit and makeup water are located near normal surface water elevation. Also note the unique feature of the fish ladder pumps and their associated intake. These pumps were originally designed for emergency operations during flood conditions, allowing adult fish passage to continue when the forebay was intended to be drawn down 18 feet to prevent flooding at Lewiston, Idaho. To reduce makeup water temperatures, a large chimney with an open top and bottom was designated to encapsulate its intake and draw cooler water from 60 feet beneath the water surface. To improve conditions for the ladder exit and the nearby four bay environment, a large spray bar was developed which incorporated the use of the emergency fish ladder pumps. The pumps were reoriented and plumbed into the spray bar and the original intake structure was also extended to a depth of 60 feet like the makeup water. The spray, which is centered directly over the ladder exit, accounts for twice as much flow as what is entering the exit during normal four bay operation. The surplus cooler water is then allowed to mix within the immediate four bay area with the intent to create a gradual transition for salmon and steelhead entering the four bay environment. The Corps is committed to recovery and improving technology like the water cooling systems at Little Goose and Lower Granite Locks and Dams. It is one of the many ways the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is pioneering some of the most advanced fish recovery technology regarding environmental stewardship. <laughs>